Okay, so let's do a little life and double shave. Double shave and a life. Uh, this is the spring edition. I haven't done one in a while. So let's got lots of stuff, fun things going on. Daylight savings time coming up. Which is this weekend. Which is cool. And then I have to do what I call a mass amount of recycling this summer. And if anybody's watched any of my videos, we'll give you a pop. Not a lot, but a few. Uh, you've seen my carport issues last year. In the fall, I had to take it all down in the front. So I have two carports. And it worked a lot. So what I need to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to set them up in the backyard. Hopefully the town won't bother me. I'm positive that they won't, but let me see. Because they're only going to take it down. I'm going to make two staging areas because I've sold so much gaming part stuff in the last few years. And I can take a system and you sell, say, the motherboard out of it. That means the, all the metal frame and parts that never sell are got to go somewhere else. So they've kind of been getting piled up. And I'm kind of out of room. Can't really add any more space because the town will have a bird if I do that. So I can't do that. So I'm gonna set up my carport. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna start working on it next week or so. Pull everything out of my two storage places in my house and on the sheds, and then start organizing it. So. Metal you can recycle at the, at the at your local place. Yeah, so metal you can recycle, but it doesn't cost you. There's some some big truck things you just throw right in the front of the, the loader. So that's easy peasy. Technically, the best way to do it would be get a dumpster, but I have a full fence in the backyard, so there's no place to put a dumpster. And they cost a lot of money. I can't really support it as a one-man shop. I want to try to recycle as much as I can on my own without paying. <laughs> so that's my big spring plan. Actually, it's my whole plan for the whole summer in the backyard. Get my carport set up. Stop piling things in the metal and plastic. Plastic I can't recycle. I have to pay. So that's something else I'm going to have to figure out later. But things like cases and covers that are good, they they can sell. So I have to kind of keep those. But it's the metal frames. That's the stuff we got to go to. Alright, so that's... Now that winter's done, winter was pretty easy peasy again. Every year it's less snow. And I was saying here in New England, in the next 10, 20 years, there'll, there'll be no more ski resorts around here in Rhode Island. Because they won't be able to make any more snow. There won't be enough cold weather. So, luckily I don't ski. So I'll do the shave, I'll do the other shave. Alright, so after I get all my my recycle won't my my station set up then I can get a lot of stuff cleaned out and eventually I have a, a room that's like a little out it's like a little deck kind of thing I have to fix it yet but I want to make that into a little studio in the spring and in the summer it has no heat so I can't do it in the winter but so maybe sometime I can come up, it's all that hair on your ears, it's the worst, I hate that. Maybe I can make a better studio desk, a gaming workbench. I have places to do it, just right now everything is completely piled up. So I just, everything goes through my little space in my room. But I'm not even that, I'm going to try to upgrade it. I'm going to get a new over... The overhang that's on there right now is, was an old 
clothes rack. Uh, makeshift into. So we're gonna try to upgrade that. So at least in my room I have a little more space. Got a lot of stuff to go through yet. All right, so we get into summer. Hopefully it'll be. Who knows what the summer's gonna bring? Uh, politics. I try to stay away from it. All I can say is I'd rather not have neither. But I don't vote, so it doesn't really matter. It's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Gonna happen. And I still feel that in 2025, something significant is going to change. Like, world changing. That's right. So I'm going to enjoy 2024 while we can, because whatever's coming, it's going to be a big one. Uh, all my little guys, all my little pet hamsters and all them, they're all nice and healthy they're fun I don't take as many videos as I used to I used to just get all kinds of not so nice comments so those are their fun though they're good if you need things to take care of you know for it's great for mental health it's great for the sobriety to have if you have a small little fishbowl like mine I don't have that caretaking Uh, our mother just, she just had her 83rd birthday, she's still doing okay, hanging in there, but uh, gotta take a, gotta enjoy every day, cause you just don't know how many you have, you need your own, um, your own life, you don't know, uh, I try to stay healthy, I don't really exercise like I probably should, but, Maybe that will be something I do once I get to my space is cleared out down below. Make a little exercise room or something. So I got my, like I said, my main thing is, is, is to get some organization. Because uh, I would never have any kind, any kind of employee or anything. It's just me. It's more like a, almost like a retirement. I'll be 56 this, 56 in April, April, April 8th is my birthday, so I'll be 56, so I was kind of like retiring early, I don't know, kind of, I just did better, luckily I found something that I was good at, that I could do it from home, and use my brain, so, uh, eBay still is good. Tough. Selling game parts is so hard. All right, so that's phase one of this. Let's um, I usually put this silly thing on. It's kind of silly. So, something that came from Timu. Um, it doesn't really. It just kind of catches the hair kind of deal. So, are we still going in here? Yeah, so it's kind of silly. We'll use that anyway. Alright, so let's let's shave my head here. So got my razor now. stuff that's on my room out of there. Everybody see my room, it's real bad. <laughs> but lots of fun stuff though. But and actually there so I got some places on the basement to fix. So on a daily basis I hear commercials all day long. And it's always about hair products. To me here is the last thing I need to worry about. So much easier just to get rid of it. Because I would have a full head of hair if I wanted to. But I found it much, much better just to get all the hair out of there. Because 
get on. I went dead here out of there. And you start over. Yeah. Do it myself. This, this is a wall. I got a yard set for three bucks. It's kind of unfair, but I've done it a million times. Yeah, so try to so I won't have any employees, it's not gonna happen, it's just me doing my own thing. Just to make enough to survive. I don't really need money for anything to pay the bills for my trip. I don't need a billion dollars or any of that sort of stuff. Really into technology. AI is looking good. I haven't done much with it. Yeah. You can see all that. Um, it doesn't really help me anything. eBay's got some. eBay has some assistance for your listings, but nothing really major yet. I'm waiting for them to be able to help me crop my photos and stuff. But I haven't seen that. It has a place where you can take the background out, but it's not really helping me out. I want to be able to crop it. Something I can show it what to do. Have it show me how it does it and then prove it and say, okay, go ahead, crop all, crop all my listings for me. I'm not sure I could actually have AI help me make listings because I gotta take the pictures and in the perfect world, I would have parts of every system listed. But there's no way I'd be able to keep up with all that. So, AI definitely will help out some down around. I feel mean, I'll have some sort of an AI personal assistant or something. That thing. And so, the first thing with the neural plant. Neuralink, Elon Musk, so someone can move them off of the brain. I'd sign up for that. That made my life a lot easier. I give me two hands to do stuff instead of... I use a track ball, but... So lots of fun stuff coming up. So we go to, we finally get a lander on the moon, or, uh, and it tips over. How many other space movies do you need to see where the, the, the space should be, the spacecraft should be long, not up and down? I understand we can only get it up in a rocket, but come on. Put something on the moon and then it takes over. And I will always believe we've never been to the moon. Stan, Stanley Cooper. Made the video or a movie, I should say. If you can't get, if you can't get there now and land without something taking over. How were we ever there? Fifty-five. How many years ago it was supposed to be? Um, so, so hopefully we we'll figure a way to get to the moon and then to Mars. I'd be a big fan of Mars. They had a thing up. NASA was looking for people to volunteer for a year in a, a Mars-ish kind of dome thing. I would have volunteered. But there was no pay. They want somebody with flight skills to be inside of a dome. You know, of course, it's And past my age now. 56, so it's only up to someone that's 55. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Huh? Yeah, so lots of fun technology coming up. People will actually get to the moon. It's got to be a better way to get up in this space. General rockets. be a way to manipulate the gravity in a, in a certain space that will 
gives you a portal that will send something up. Something like that. I've been reading a lot about Wi-Fi 7, um, 6G. Those are all real fun things coming up. 6G is a long way away, but that's going to be significant. Wi-Fi 7, I think it's out now, except it just, um, there's not many things support it yet. Hope I look forward to seeing a lot more hologram stuff. Holograms mm -hmm. will be the next phone. Just have one little thing here, you just push the thing and it goes up. Second of movies and you, that's what we'll be. I haven't seen any, any hologram stuff yet, so it's... Quantums, I've been seeing a lot about quantum computers lately. So, lots of fun stuff. So far, nothing that's really significant changes at all. Alright, so I'm trying to get this done. Yeah, to me, getting here over here is nice. Definitely deep technology and really into the vintage computer stuff. All kinds of fun vintage. I've got a Mega, Mega 500, I've got an Atari, a few Atari. I've got all my Tandy computers I'm into. I haven't spent much time on them. Tandy 2000. I've got a few other desktop Tandys now. I want to use AI to help me do some programming, just to play around with it. I haven't had time to get to that either. Just kind of collecting them right now. Try to build them up, upgrade them. I got a Tandy 2000. I just got the memory upgrade and a, a video card with the correct slots in the back. Tandy 2000 is pretty awesome. I have a cool Tandy 1200 HD that's pretty neat too. That one works. But I got some lots of cool vintage Apple stuff I'm working on. Duo dock. A couple of vintage Apple um, laptops. Mm -hmm. cool. I never was really into Apple growing up, but now I'm kind of... But the good thing now is you can go back. And all those things you never did when you were younger, check them out. And then you can upgrade them to the max. Whatever's out there is you know, out there. No. No, I just want to be close to boredom. Even though it's old, it's still new. Mm -hmm. I think this is it. I'm not taking a shower for the new bucks. So I don't know what's going to happen with the presidential election. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a nightmare waiting to happen. I hope not. I definitely somebody in the 30s. Probably having 70s and 80s old people fighting the street. I think it's 2025. Oh, I went to see my first movie, Doom 2. I saw the video on the first one, and I had to go see it in the movie. The first movie I've seen in the theater. Oh, five years. And there's a new little theater here in Westerly. Pretty cool. So first time I went in there, but that uh, Doom 2 was awesome. 
So now I'm gonna make that a, a new thing to do. I'm going to see a new Ghostbusters. I want to see. Speaking of 2025, there's a movie from 824 coming out called Civil War. Yeah, that's that's another round of movie right there. It looks it looks pretty cool. It's got a pop to it that kind of. Yeah, it's definitely a civil war, I'd like to see. So we're not that far away, actually. It's from 824, which... My favorite game, video game ever, is, um... Death Stranding. And there's a Death Stranding 2 coming out, which I've already seen the previews, looks outstanding. And 824, that's doing civil war, is also doing his Death Stranding movie, which is basically a movie anyway. The game is just a movie. <laughs> if you ever played it, it's pretty cool. It's a single player though. You're, you're on your own. But it's awesome. I, that, not often I put 50 plus hours into a game, but for Death Stranding, I did. So I decided to sell all my new technology gaming. My ex, I sold my PS5 a few months ago. I sold, I just sold my Series X. So now I'm not playing any or buying any new games until next year. Actually, I want to try to hold off until Death Stranding 2 comes out. In 2025, I want to get all that hair off your ears. It's a must. The last thing I want to do is see. Yeah, so 2025 with some very cool games to come out. AI games should be coming out soon. Which I think you'll have more versions of one game within a game. Like the remake of um, uh, Until Dawn. Those kind of games. Where the decisions you make change the game. So the AI, the game can also change its own decisions. Its own, its own game, right? So that'll be significant. And it will constantly evolve. And I would assume the game could actually update itself, add its own download content, or it would be just however it wants to take the game, right? Yeah. I got all those bridges over there. So lots of fun stuff. Gaming for 2025. I'm gonna see what's gonna happen there. See if we're still hanging around by then. Hopefully we'll see some fun stuff. I'd like to live to be 2050, but I don't think I'll make it. But it's a fun time to be alive. Lots of fun stuff going on. And a lot of not fun stuff either. Middle East, Ukraine, all that just terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. We just look, it hasn't reached us yet. And I use the word yet very, very lightly. show a lot of gray now. Another reason to do this. That's where to hide your gray, shave it off. 
draw this until I started shaving my head about, I don't know, five years ago. Just made a lot more sense for me. I don't even care about looks or anything like that, as you can tell. Just get up and play around with some electronics and sell some stuff. Take care about all animals, that's pretty much it. Very simple, simple, simple life. I'll take my shower and down. So that's pretty much it for the spring. And maybe when we come in the fall, I'll do this again, see so where we are in the fall. Because then we'll really be talking about politics then. And by November. Lots of dimples now in my head. These are well earned dimples. Day store has been good and busy. Hopefully, get a lot more stuff listed soon. Just coming up with new ideas, there's stuff to list. And I like to list everything, it's just not possible. I just don't have time. Listing one thing takes a while. It's so interesting to watch the body stop changing. It's kind of fascinating. I don't know why. Especially if you really don't care. If you don't care. If you're one of those people that are trying to find medicine, that, you know, all that cosmetic stuff, and then getting old probably is not fun. But if you really don't care. <laughs> Take it as for what it is. And then it's pretty, very interesting. I find it just massive. Yeah, so I don't want my eyebrows sticking out. I actually want to shave them off. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But I'd like to do it. But not, not quite yet. I really don't need eyebrows for anything. I know. Again, they show all the gray here, too. So as I get grayer, Unless my eyebrows are too, too bad. It's not a lot of gray, a little bit. Let's see if they stick up over here like this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so. The money I've saved over the years doing this myself. Sort of a style. It doesn't winter because it's just you wearing a hat anyway. And in the summer, you're sweating all the time. So. It's harder to do. I don't know how that is. I never get these sides. You know, Right 
so yeah, I would survive good in that little pod in um, a NASA is all funny. They want someone with flight. I wish I would get that. I'd like to go to Mars myself, actually. Like a one-way ticket would be cool. You gotta die somewhere, you might as well go trying to colonize. I'd get pretty cool. I would do that. Not now. We'll see what happens with technology. It's really not something that excites me. To see how it changes the rest of my lifetime. It'll be interesting. I might see 2050. 2030, yeah. 2040, probably. But you never know. Okay. Again, 2025 could be it all. We all could be done. Shots are boring. Try to get the ears, the eyes. I was just spot here there, but that's pretty cool. Alright, so that's my life in a shave for the spring edition. I'm gonna wait now until fall. Maybe I'll do it right before the election. And we'll see what we got going on there. That'll be awesome. And then chat about the election. Or maybe even after the election. Yeah, that's probably even better. Yeah. I'll wait till day after the election. Because that's going to be... I wish we had different candidates. Or we don't. I guess we get an independent. I thought Kennedy was going to be an independent, but I know that for now. Somebody needs to step up. The whole system needs to change completely. Right, anyways. Just make me good. Usually three or four weeks and I can do this again, but for video wise I'll wait until November November 8th. Yeah, November 8th, that's when we'll do it again. We'll check back in and see we'll talk about the, the new president. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. See ya.